Okay, this is uh, Castrol SRF. Uh, we are going to test the wet boiling point with a unique tester we have here. Supposed to be over 500, 510 or so, which is about, uh, let's see, 200 degrees over the dot four standard, according to what the bottle says. Boiling point is over. 446. Zoom in. So it says over above 446, but it doesn't give you, does that mean 446 or does it mean? It's above 446. Okay, so it's definitely above 446 in reality. Minimum is 311 for dot four. Yeah, minimum is 311 for dot four. 5.1 is 356, it's above that. Okay. So, right out of the bottle. So they're, they're accurate on it. Let me say they're accurate on their bottle um, according to that test. Okay, pretty cool stuff. So Castrol SRF, hand me that bottle so I don't get too close to you. So Castrol SRF, uh, typically what we use uh, for the track. Motul is another good one. Um, we'll try to get a test on that, but the uh, machine says, the tester says above 446. So you have a real reading on that. James is cleaning the tester so we don't get cross contamination and we're going to test the Castrol SRF that has been in a track car for six months uh, probably has done three events on it. I recommend changing it every event, but some people don't. Um, so he's going to do that. We're going to go out to this uh, BMW. Now we're under a hood of a track car. We're going to pull the Castrol SRF sample out of the reservoir. It's been in there about six months, Stuart, is that what you said? Six months. Okay. So six months and how many events? Two full days. Two, so two full, two full days, okay. All right, so James is gonna run the test here and see what track used two full days of SRF. About 446. Okay, so it's holding after uh, two full hard events uh, at chin track days I believe it was right? I'll run it again and we're gonna run it one more time it seems to be holding what the bottle indicates which is impressive so probe is hot one second Test. About 446. Yeah, here we got. I'll zoom in there. All right, it's pretty impressive. So worth the worth the money, the 70 to 100 dollars a bottle uh, that it's that it costs. But we'll get we'll get some road tool tested, and uh, I don't think we're going to test the. Type 200, I don't think anybody uses that anymore. If you do, you probably should just throw it in the trash can nearest to you. Have a good day, hope you enjoy.